this video summarises the key things you must know for what are called linear sequences. Suppose you're given a formula for a sequence, in this case 5n minus 2, and you're asked to find the first three terms. Then all you do is, to find the first term, we let n equal 1. For the second term, n equals 2, and for the third term, n equals 3. So, for example, the first term would be 5, brackets 1, take away 2. 5 times 1 is 5, take away 2 is 3. Then, for the second term, n equals 2. So, 5, lots of 2, take away 2. 5 times 2 is 10, take away 2 is 8. And for the third term, 5, lots of 3. 15, take away 2, equals 13. So the first three terms are 3, 8, and 13, and so on, and so forth. So given a formula, we can find any term we like. However, suppose we're given the sequence, and the question says, what is the formula? Now, there's a simple trick we used to do this. And the first thing we do is look for the pattern in the numbers. Now this goes up by 4 each time. Plus 4. So this means that the nth term is of the form 4n. However, it's not just 4n, because that is a sequence 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. There's actually a plus number after this. And what you do is, you look at the first term, which is 5. And we add or subtract a number to go from 4 to 5. Well, to go from 4 to 5, we just have to add 1. And so the nth term is 4n plus 1. Now to check this, if n was 1, 4 times 1 plus 1 equals 5. If n was 2, 4 times 2 plus 1 equals 9. And if n was 3, 4 times 3 is 12, plus 1 equals 13. So that method does appear to work. So for the second one, this one goes up by 10 each time. That's its common difference. So it's not 4n, it'll be 10n. However, the first term is 12. And we've got a 10 here. And to get from 10 to 12, we have to add on 2. And so the nth term of this sequence is 10n plus 2. Now, the third one is slightly different. This one goes down by 3 each time. So there's a subtraction from term to term. So this time it's minus 3n. However, to get from minus 3 all the way up to 15 requires an addition of 18. And so... That is the nth term for the third sequence. So we can have linear sequences, find the terms. We can be given the sequence, and it's find the formula or nth term. I will just mention very quickly just some important ones to know about. One of them is n squared. This is just a squared numbers, which is given by 1, 4, 9, 16, 25. 1 times 1 is 1. 2 times 2 is 4. 3 times 3 is 9. So on and so forth. The cube numbers, also worth knowing about. 1 times 1 times 1 is 1. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. And so on and so forth. And perhaps another one to be aware of is this. I wonder if you can recognise what this sequence is. 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13. Well, these are the prime numbers. And these numbers which, which have only got two factors in.